In Act 2, Scene 1 of A Midsummer Night's Dream, it's the next night, and the fairy king Oberon's fairy servant, Puck, actually named Robin Goodfellow, meets another fairy, a servant of the fairy queen, Titania. Puck brags about the practical jokes he likes playing on humans. Oberon and Titania enter, arguing about a changeling boy who is Titania's. Oberon wants Titania to give him the boy, and she refuses. Their quarrel has been causing chaos in the natural world, including wind, fog, and flooding, which is affecting the crops. Oberon tells Puck that he's going to play a trick on Titania. Cupid, he says, once shot an arrow that accidentally hit a flower. The juice of the flower can be placed on a sleeping person's eyes, and when the sleeping person wakes up, they will fall madly in love with the next living creature that they see. He sends Puck to get him the flower, planning to use it on Titania so she may fall in love with something hideous and disgusting. After Puck leaves, Demetrius and Helena enter, and Oberon secretly watches them. Demetrius is searching for Hermia and Lysander, and Helena follows along, expressing her love for him. He tells her harshly to go away, leave him alone, but she just keeps following him. Puck brings the flower to Oberon, who tells Puck to use some of its juice to make that Athenian man he has just seen fall in love with the poor woman who he treated so badly. He tells Puck he will recognize the man by the Athenian garments he has on. They both leave to put the magic flower nectar to use. Act two shows what happens when humans enter the fairy realm of the woods. The fairy world has its own rules and magic is a typical occurrence. Out in the woods at night, magic turns reality into a sort of dreamlike wonderland. The feud between Oberon and Titania speaks to the theme of gender roles. Oberon is frustrated, not just because he wants the changeling boy, but also because Titania is defying him. He berates her and reminds her he is her lord, so she should obey him. Their argument and the disorder it's unleashing on the natural world emphasizes the connection between the fairy realm's magic and nature. Gender roles are also emphasized in the relationship between Helena and Demetrius. Helena's utter devotion to Demetrius speaks to gender stereotypes of women having dogmatic love and devotion to the men they fawn over, even when those men are total jerks. Oberon's decision to take pity on Helena is the action that first intertwines the human and fairy plots. Puck, who already has experience playing tricks on humans, moves between these two plots, weaving them together. The theme of love as a magical force finds its most concrete symbolic representation in the flower that was shot by Cupid's arrow. The nectar making its victim fall for any living thing, be it animal, fairy, or whatever, represents how irrational love's magic can be.